the term body positive technically it only exists because of body shaming you know i think that people should naturally be body positive and body positivity is, should be something that is like built in our culture i was I had a song called i'm in love with myself and i put that out in like 2015 and i was performing it on stage and it would shock people they would be like oh my god how, how dare she, or wow, she's so brave, or is she, is she serious? Does she really love herself? And I'm like, why y'all asking all these damn questions? Like, what are you questioning about me and my body and right. my love for myself? So at this point, I realized that my mere existence is a form of activism, especially in the body positive community. And I wear that hat really well with, or not wear that hat at all, according to this book. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting that body positivity yeah. is, a, is a thing but body negativity isn't. Right. And I think it's because body negativity is the norm. Sure. It's what's expected. So body positivity is this novel idea. And I think it has something to do with, you know, consumerism in the media. Yeah. Because, um, you know, they got to make money somehow. So they're selling you an idea of yourself that you haven't quite yet achieved. So your whole life, you've been taught to like blend in with people or like buy this to look better. Yeah. So you never really feel complete and you never really feel happy completely about yourself. Yes, you'll have days where you're like, I used to look like this, now I look like this. I don't necessarily feel comfortable with that. But don't listen to what these people are trying to sell you about how you should look. Normalize growing comfortable with your body. Don't normalize trying to change your body because someone's telling you to.